Yes, and welcome back to It's a Great Day for Business Atlanta! Woo! Yes, I'm excited. We're toward the end of the show, and this segment is Relationships and Strategies. Lori Ty was unavailable today, and we miss her. I'm very sad. I'm crying. But we have the rare treat of having the awesome, incredible Charles Williams joining us today. With this segment, what we try to do is actually talk to business owners about what they can do as far as building business relationships. Lewis touched on that with his talk as far as better networking, but also how to use effective strategies so that you don't have to waste a lot of time as a business owner. Because since most of us work by ourselves or we have like a smaller team, we want to be effective with time management, which is one of the things that Jim Rohn talks about, who's one of my mentors, is the difference between rich people and poor people is time management. So that's what we're going to talk about. Did you want to go ahead and get started first, or do you want me to, to share my thoughts? What do you want to I'd like to get your thoughts. Okay. Go ahead. All right. One of the things that I really, this on this show was interesting is I would suggest people getting this latest issue of Success Magazine with John Maxwell on it. John Maxwell actually, I think he lives in the Atlanta area. However, to see him costs $20,000 if you want to meet him one-on-one. -on -one. That's a clue. The reason why it costs that much is because he has effective things to help people in leadership, which leadership is one of the main things that help people in their business. One of the strategies that I wanted to share today was, on line with what Lewis talked about, is using networking effectively. One of the main things that I want to just share real brief is whenever you go to a networking event, try to find the centers of influence. Lewis mentioned earlier that we should not just pass out cards indiscriminately and say, here's a card, here's a card, and I got a stack of cards. I would say that if you're a serious business owner, if you can find the person who's the leader of the group, make sure that you meet with them first. This is powerful. That person will set the tone for credibility for you because if they meet with you, they know what you do, they like it, they learn to have a relationship with you and learn to trust you, life is a lot easier for you. This is something that I personally use because as a leader, the person who's usually leading anything is setting the tone for everybody else because really, like Lewis mentioned earlier, well, he didn't mention this, I'm saying this, and, and forgive me, some people are really not worth your time. They really aren't. And, and it's, it's funny, but really, you, you'll, you'll talk to people, and if you just take a whole group of folks, and you only have so much time in a day. So you have to say, who am I going to spend my time with? And I encourage everybody to spend time with the leader. So that's my part that I wanted to talk about. What, what do you have to share, Charles? And I appreciate you coming, setting in at the last minute on this. You, you, he, Char, let's give it up for Charles. He's been all over the show today. He is awesome. When I grow up, I aspire to be like Charles Williams. I'll pay you after this year. <laughs> I, I really go back to one of the things we always talk about when you're running a business and having a business plan and your strategy. The first thing is you really need to know who your target customers are. Because networking is part of your marketing and sales strategy for your company. So if you aspire to be able to go after certain businesses, whether it's restaurants, it might be car dealerships, it may be automotive repair, whatever it may be. Once you figure that out, then you have to figure out how do I get to those individuals or those business owners or my customers that I'm trying to get after. The other thing is you need to identify the gate openers. Something that Lewis said, gate openers. Those are individuals or organizations that will introduce you to your car target customer. So when you go to those meetings, you're actually targeting certain groups of individuals that you want to actually meet and get to know. I think the excellent point was you can't meet 40 people. You can meet 40 people, but there are three individuals that you really want to connect with at that meeting. And then there's follow-up. So just getting 40 cars and everything else, if you don't follow up, it's really not networking. And so you have to do a follow-up meeting with those individuals to understand not just your needs, but their needs. And you have to think about not just what they can do for you, but what you can do for them. Awesome, Charles. Well, we got the signal today since we had so many people. Once again, our time is limited, but we want to thank you guys for tuning in to It's a Great Day for Business Atlanta! Woo!